What's up, Midnight Gamers, you beautiful seafoods and wonderful people? This is the cause at Midnight Lights Gaming, bringing you my next edition of my seafood goal guides. We're in the museum, and this is a guide on Unstoppable Stream, which is another goal that has to do with keeping your multiplier at times three for the bulk of a certain engagement combat scenario. Let me do just a little housekeeping to get us oriented and set up. One is you're gonna, this video has seven tips and it also has a full playthrough. All of that's done on Disciple Difficulty. Here is a shot of the actual language of the goal. Unstoppable stream, clear the rain room with a score multiplier of three for most of the fight. So again, most of the fight is something we're gonna put to the limit. We're gonna put to the test. And this is just a quick speed it up um, kind of show me of how to get to the rain room. Um, Cause I think sometimes people watch this video to just be like, yo, wh which one is the rain room? So this is the rain room. It's the one with the two semicircles and all the rain in it. All right, let's get tipsy with some tips. And here are those seven tips for unstoppable stream. Strike first, strike hard is the first one. That's my general approach to the fight. Hack the plan is just about understanding the the other uh, opposing fighters AI take down the systems about embracing takedowns disarming weapons is a big part of this goal so you definitely want to spend some time there I'm not going to go into it uh, foreplay is kind of an approach to you versus the last three um, fighters which is the hardest part of this goal a little patience again is a strategy for getting reoriented and keeping your bearings and then taunt the mighty cow but these are ways to keep that multiplier times three little quick hacks you can do to get your multiplier to times three quick Tip el numero uno is strike first, strike hard, no mercy. There are some times in Sifu where you want to be on the back foot and counter attack. This isn't, is not one of those times. You want to be on the front foot. Strike first, strike hard is all about how you're hitting enemies before they hit you. You're really being on the front foot, doing most of the attacking, which you need to, to keep that multiplier up. Alrighty, Roo, goal number two, hack the planet. So this goal is about um, understanding some of the fighters AI so that we can predict behavior and, and therefore be ready. So I'm gonna slow this down a little bit, but essentially any time in Sifu where you're up against a, a relatively big group like you are in this particular goal, when you're focused on one guy like I am here, someone's gonna be creeping up on you. Someone is gonna be looking to get in and get in an attack from behind, from the side. So it's good to keep folks in front of you, keep fighters in front of you. You don't see me do a good job of predicting that knife swipe, it comes a little fast. But essentially, Hack the Planet is all about knowing that you can't focus on one fighter for too long before another fighter comes along and you gotta anticipate that. Tip number three is the way to be. Take down the system. This is about, yeah, just basically taking every opportunity you can to take it down. Yeah, take them down. Take down the system. Tear it all down. Burn it down. Sorry, I lost it there a little bit. But this tip is all about taking down the system, which is just, yeah, anytime there's an opportunity for a takedown, you should take that opportunity. And there are two reasons. One is it helps you reorient. You're pretty much invulnerable during that time. You can look at where the other fighters are and get a sense of who your next um, tango is. Now, that said, there's also a second reason, though I haven't totally checked this out. One is I'm pretty sure your counter will stay at whatever it's at and not go down while you're taking down fighters. So that means you're making the fight go longer while you're on a times three, if you're doing takedowns while you're on a times three. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, the, the main thing here is just take down as many people as possible, uh, it'll help. All right, the next tip, tip number four, is all about weapons. So how to disarm, what weapons to use, where to get weapons. So let's start with where to get weapons. So I get a bat, I think from the third floor, and that's great, but you don't need to come in with a weapon. Don't worry too much about it. In the second phase of this fight, a ton of people come out with knives. So that's one thing. Two is, yeah, pick those knives up. It does more damage. It's going to get you to takedowns faster or get you to, you know, knocking them out faster. So pick up a weapon. Always use a weapon during this goal. As far as disarming goes, oh, one other quick thing. In the second phase, when all these fighters come out with knives, you want to do as much disarming as you can to leave knives around the center of this circle. And the way to disarm that I like is back forward square, which is palm strike or 
back forward triangle, which is a sweep. Both of those disarm right away. All right, tip number five is four play. So maybe this should have been tip number four. I don't know. Either way, tip number five is four play because there's only four people left at the end of the rain room. It's you and the three hardest fighters of the level. So let's talk about it. Ah, come on, let's make out. Kiss me. Mm. Look it like you like it. Look it like you like it. So my strategy with these last three fighters is to try and thin out two of them and then because my multiplier is going to go down and then get my multiplier up to three and try and like milk that as long as I can with the last fighter to try and again just have more gameplay time where I'm at times three. So pick up the knives. You can see I already stabbed the juggernaut. You just hold triangle until you're fully charged and then let go. You have to get, sometimes you need to be a little lucky with these flash kickers. You probably need to do it sort of mid, like right when they're about to start an attack or else they'll dodge it. Um, this is the hardest part. I, I, I'm not gonna lie about that. You can see, after I thin out two of them, I'm down to just this one, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm at times three, how can I make this last as long as possible? Because I know I just spent a lot of time at times one, and I want to balance that out. So, like I said, thin two of them out, you're probably going to go to a times one while you're doing that, you're probably going to take a couple hits, and then, on the last one, get to times three and stay at times three, because it's all just a lot more manageable with just one fighter in front of you. Tip number six is a little spatience. So spatience is this idea where you make space and practice patience in order to find balance in your combat. So when you're overwhelmed, or not even overwhelmed, when you've got two or three fighters around you, which happens a lot in this goal, you wanna try and sometimes make room. Now you need to be careful because when you practice patience, your multiplier can go down. Really it's just taking a quick second to recalibrate I, I didn't do it a lot in this goal, and this goal isn't my best showing, but I did it a lot in a similar goal in the, the squats. So you can see here, I'm surrounded by three fighters. I'm able to take one down. It's down to just one fighter, but it's good. I just wanna recalibrate, keep these fighters in front of me. So I, I get away, I make some space, I stay patient, but I'm not out too long. I get back into it. Um, so just practice a little patience as a means of um, keeping yourself balanced and calibrated throughout the fight and not getting all messed up when you start taking damage. The next goal is Taunt the Mighty Talbot, which refers to the two ways you can jump up your multiplier without doing damage or attacking or anything like that. So the first way you can go up by basically one times on your multiplier is by taunting, which is right on the D-pad for PS5, PS4. Now, the second way you can jump your multiplier all the way up to times three is the Mighty Calbit, which is a focus move, which you can find actually in this level in the museum. If you can find this and stare at it, you'll unlock the focus move Mighty Calbit, which when you use instantly, brings you to a times three multiplier and is so freaking important for this and all the times three multiplier challenges and goals in Sifu. There you have it. Those are our seven tips for the unstoppable stream goal in the museum. And you can use these tips for really any of the times three multiplier goals in any of the levels. Hey friends, now we're to the full playthrough with commentary for the, uh, as part of my Sifu goal guide for the museum, where we're doing unstoppable stream, which is to keep a times three multiplier for most of the fight in the rain room. So I'm going to start by showing you how to get to the rain room and I'm really going to speed it up because you probably know this already uh, but I did want to show it just in case you weren't quite sure where the rain room is or like rather which room is the rain room so here's the path for you and I'm going to also just let you know while this is a, su a successful playthrough of this goal you're going to see like how much you can push the envelope on what it means to have most of the fight as a times three multiplayer. There is a lot of time I'm in times one. Like I was surprised when I got this. I wasn't trying to do this goal. I was trying to do a different one and was like, oh, I'll try this on the way. And I just played it through and it ended up working out for me. So this is the final little stretch before you get into the rain room. And here we are in the rain room. And there are three phases of this, this room, this like encounter. And the first one's pretty easy. I think it's maybe three or four fighters, uh, none of which are particularly advanced. Um, they do have knives though. They like start with knives. And as I said in my goal guide, you want the knives, you want to do some disarming, which I didn't do a great job of here. You want to do some disarming where I am now in the middle of this circle where you can, it's not dark. You can easily find the knives, no problem at all. I, maybe I should call those daggers. I, I don't know. 
But man, this is like, this level is so cool, and this room is so cool. Um, I really enjoy the museum level a lot. So you can see I'm into the second phase now, where it's it's more fighters, a lot of them, most of, or about half of them have knives. And I'm really trying to use Palm Strike, and I should be trying harder, Palm Strike and um, Sweep to disarm these fighters as easily as possible. But of course, when you take them down, um, that will, you know, disarm them as well too. And since I have this metal bat, it's a little, it's pretty quick. I'm pretty fast to to get to a takedown. Now you can see I'm taking quite a bit of damage in this particular um, sequence. And so to get my multiplier up to three, you want to just do as much damage as possible without taking damage. But you can also, as I said, use taunt in the mighty Calbit. I only use taunt once. It's very hard to use taunt because these are pretty tight confines, so you want to be careful. So here we are. We're at the third phase of this fight with two flash kickers and a juggernaut. This is the hardest part of the fight. You can see I'm down to times one. And my tip for you would be to like, be okay with a little times one during this part, but be ready to pick up a knife and try and stab two of these um, of these three fighters and do instant takedown so you can see I died too I really I don't know how I got this goal it, it's both a great example because it shows you that you don't have to be perfect um, and and also shows you some important skills for keeping your times three multiplier so anyway once I'm down to one fighter so you're gonna see I'm gonna stab her too which is just holding triangle till you're fully charged and then letting go with these two fighters the flash kickers you really want to um, do it right when they're starting their move. Like, you have to time it quite well. Um, but I spent more time in a times three multiplier when I was on, when I was with this, just this one fighter. And that was my goal, to get rid of two very quickly, knowing I'd probably take some damage and do a times one multiplier. But I was gonna, I was gonna instant take down them with the knife. And there you can see I got it. Um, but yeah, you take out two with instant takedowns with the knife, and then you're down to one where you, you're, you can kind of milk the times three multiplier. Because remember, every, every second you're in a time, times three multiplier is good for this fight. Um, you don't want the fight to go on forever, but if you are in a times three multiplier, you really do want to try and, and milk that. And, and you can do that with that last fighter, which may have helped me get over the edge. So that's it. Unstoppable stream. Keep that score multiplier at times three for most of the fight. Thank you for watching Midnight Lights. Again, I'm Kaz. Uh, follow me at, at Midnight Lights at Twitter and Instagram. I'm in my push to 1,000 subs right now because the second I start making a single dime from any video or anything I do, I love making these videos so much. I just want to do some good. So 50% of whatever I make will go to a charity we choose as a subscriber community. And no BS, I will upload receipts and we will make these decisions together on YouTube. All right, peace. Thanks, y'all.